Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. Next in the den is Jama. He feels that his white gold is the next big thing. That and rhyming. My name is Jama. I have no drama. We are working for the mamas. We prepared enough. And uh, we have been in the market since 2017. So we are not even worried about it. Hi, Lions. My name is Jama. I'm from White Gold Camel Milk. We the name again? Jama. 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 J -A -M -A. Jama. Oh, Jama. Like Obama. <laughs> Jama. With like a J. Jama. Nice. Huh? Yes. I'm from White Gold Camel Milk. It's loaded with vitamins and nutrients. And uh, a lot of research has been found that camel milk has been helpful in maintaining diabetics, lactose intolerant, autistic kids. People pay to be, to be, to be my size, right? <laughs> and, and, and in Kenya, we normally have the beer belly, mm -hmm. right? And, and they think that that is a credit facility, but mm -hmm. it's a cholesterol. <laughs> and it can be treated by camel milk. So far, we are all in the major supermarkets. And the brainchild of this company is a lady who is my wife. I am just the marketer and the CEO. Where is she today? She is watching me from inside. She's not a TV person. <laughs> today, I'm asking for 7.5 million in return for 15% stake of my company. No drama, Jama has the lion smiling with his pitch. A family business with an interesting product. What's the price point you sell at? They are selling this one for 160 to 170. And normal milk for that size is how much? Normal milk, what do you mean by normal milk? Cow milk, I guess. <laughs> Half a liter, maybe going for maybe like 70 shillings, I guess. I... Can we taste okay, yeah, the milk? Yeah. Yes, I, that's why what I wanted to tell you guys. Laden with benefits, camel milk could be the next big health product. The lions get curious. Will the business and Jama's poetry get them to see potential in this business? Where do you get the camel milk from? I do have my own camels, but we also are source. We have 20 suppliers, 10 are ranchers, but the other 10 are small time farmers who want their money on weekly or bi-weekly. Who else is producing camel milk in the market? Uh, there's a small company, uh, they're called uh, Kulan. When you say small company, meaning they're smaller than you? Yeah, they're smaller than me. But so how, what's the quantity they're doing? Because obviously as you grow, you're going to take some of their market share. I think maybe they're doing maybe like 100 liters a day and you know, for them, uh, they expanded too much. Do you get to a point where you run out of source milk? There is 33.5 million camels in Kenya. So what you're saying, if you wanted 2,000 liters a day, you would find them. But now I have to go across the counties, go train those people to my standard, franchise maybe to those counties, give them more jobs, you know? What percentage of the Kenyan population is drinking camel milk today? We can say between five to seven. Percent? Yes. How do you know that percentage? I deal with it, okay? Who are my customers? I, I, I deliver two rivers for Chandarana and Karifo. Who lives in two rivers? Do you think somebody who comes, who lives in Kariobangi can come and buy? I mean, let's be real. Yeah, true. Let's be okay. real. Dubai yes. have one of the biggest plants for chamomile. Yes, sir. Dubai is a whole different here. That's what I want to hear. That is their butter and bread. So they get support from their government. So are you getting any support from the government? I thought you guys are the government, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what support would you want? The, ca the camel milk, it's not all that known. So you need it to have recognition in the policy framework. Are you a member of any of these uh, trade associations? Uh, we are members of the uh, Camel Association of Kenya, and uh, the white gold camel milk is already patented with Kipi. What do they do? Mm -hmm. Patent. Thank you. Yeah. What have you patented? I have patented the name, the, the color. I think you've registered. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You, you've done it. <laughs> These two are not farmers. Yeah. Let's talk to the farmers now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right? Booyaka! Yeah. That, on that note, I'm out. <laughs> Sorted. Right. Olive Gashara is out, but with another four lions, Jama can still walk away with a deal. What would stop any of the big companies today coming into camel milk? 
this is a pastoralist game. That's, <laughs> this is a pastoralist game. Your name is compliant in that area, yeah? Yes, yes. <laughs> let them come in. <laughs> let them come in. Jamal, how do you want to spend this money? We need to get a refrigerated van mm -hmm. where we need to transport. Mm. The other thing is we need to get a, a center for those farmers whereby we can have mm. cooling a, plant. a cooler mm. branding. A different one? No, this, no the, the brand itself and you know the, the, these troopers and, and, and the labels itself. So when you say branding, you mean? You mean marketing. Marketing. That's what he means. Hey. Chris. I get him. Okay, you get him. <laughs> okay, he's yeah. finishing the sentence for me, right? <laughs> yeah. It seems Jama is slowly heading in the lions to his side. But the smiles do not mean a deal, and he knows this. I'm very happy to have met you today because I'm lactose intolerant, and so I suffer every morning if I don't get goat milk or almond milk, which I like, and I love the smell and the taste of this common milk. Thank you. I definitely would like to support by buying, but I'm, I'm out financially. Thank you very much. I'll be happy to be your supplier. Thank you. And we'll be solving your problem. Thank you. It's amazing, I can see your passion. I was waiting to see your wife and how much she's really passionate about this. I honestly don't understand this industry, but as of now, I'm out. Thank you. Two lions are still in. Master of distribution, Darshan Chandaria, and marketing guru, Joanne Mwangi. Jama needs both. Will they join up or offer separate deals? Jamal, we've got everything you need. <laughs> Darshan has the bunny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I have the passion for agriculture. I want to offer you the 7.5, but I would say that your business is at a very early stage. There's still a lot of work to be done. And so I would be asking for 35%. Are you in shock? You can close your mouth. 35% <laughs> will be on the higher side for me. Jama came in asking for 7.5 million for 15% of his camel milk empire. Joanne Mwangi just asked for 35% for the same amount. Darshan Chandaria is really weighing his options. Yeah, I'm uh, really sitting on the fence here, Jamal. Yeah. I think you have uh, an interesting product, but I know it's a tough industry. Um, Seven point five for thirty percent. Thank you very much. That's still on the high side for me, because I already have other markets. You know, it's not that you know if I could get a loan or anything, I could do it. The main thing I came here is for the network, and I already did the groundwork for the. The least I'm accepting will be that fifteen percent. Wow, fifteen percent at seven point five because I know very well that this thing has a growth. It is a fixed price. Take or leave. Take it or leave it. And, uh, and how low can you come then? And how low do you want to come For on, 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 on your side? Both of you, how, I mean, how much do you want to give up? If I was to really come down, I would be matching what Darshan is at, which is 30%. OK. Can we come somewhere in the middle of that? And then you guys can share 10, 10%. No, no, and, no, you know, no, no. We get ourselves a deal and, hey. The sky is the limit and we take the whole thing to a different level. Jama is pushing back on the lion's offer and wants Darshan Chandaria and Joanne Mwangi to join up. But the lions won't take it. There's only so far they can go and they're fighting back. Last offer, non-negotiable. 7.5 million for 25%. Again, I'm appealing, I'm appealing to you guys, let's, let's come into, because if, if sharing is caring, I mean, we, you have me as a person running this business. Mm -hmm. And I put it to this level today, and I can take it out of this country even, easily. 
Thank you very much. The first lady is already here. Oh, okay. Oh, come right in. <laughs> Please come in. Uh, you came at the right time. We have an offer of, they say, give us 7.5 7 million for 35. I say that is too much for us. Now, both of them are 25. And the brain is this. Let's compromise and we come together at 22 and a half and we take this company to the next level. So you have to ask yourself, what is it that your business really wants? True, distribution, equipment, go that side. Marketing, the brand development, strategy. social impact, strategy, come this side. He can talk for himself the other things he brings to the table, like mechatronics. <laughs> strategy, marketing, all of that, we do. <laughs> We've just invested in a beverage business. Cool, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Packaging, costs, you want to bring down. The relationships with those companies, we already have them. And also for me, I really, I am stuck at 25%. I think what I bring to the table is worth it. Okay. I'm going to try and close this deal. Yes. Okay? Thank you. I'm going to round it up to 23%, and I expect we will have a deal. And I refuse. Thank you very much. You got yourself a deal. Thank you oh, very much. Oh, you didn't even listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I look forward to it. Huh? Thank Jama, you. it'll be good. Thank yeah. You. A good fight by Jama and a bit of moral support from his wife has him close the deal with Dasham and hoping he can grow his white gold empire even further. Yes. That's the thing that we need to do it, right? You can try. Today it's a milestone. Yes. <laughs> it's good. Anyway, it's good they got themselves a deal. It's a good business. Yeah. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.